Boeing's connection to the movie First Man, this is a story of Neil Armstrong, and he has, there are a couple of touch points that we have with Neil Armstrong. First, he was a pilot for the X-15. The X-15 was built by North American Aviation, one of our heritage companies, and this was the first hypersonic vehicle, carried a human being, and uh, that was a very successful program that, that uh, he was a pilot for. Next was the uh, X-20 dinosaur program which actually never got built. And this would have been a reusable spacecraft. It would have flown, been boosted into low Earth orbit, performed a mission, and then would have flown back, glided back in for landing. The next one was through our heritage company, McDonnell, that was uh, responsible for building the Gemini spacecraft. And Neil Armstrong was an astronaut for the Gemini program. And finally, the big program was the Apollo, Apollo 11. This is it, first man, first man on the moon. Apollo 11 was uh, the capsule itself. The Apollo, the command service module, was built by North American, at that time, North American Rockwell. That carried the three astronauts to, to lunar orbit and then returned them safely to Earth. We have main engine start, four, three, two, one, zero, lift off. And the booster was also a big, big player in this role. They wouldn't have gotten to the moon without that mighty Saturn V booster to send them on the way. And that was a team effort. Really, it was a one Boeing effort now. It, it involved the Boeing company building the first stage. Douglas built the third stage, and North American comes in again with the second stage. So that was a team effort, and all those companies are now part of Boeing. <laughs>